So thanks to the people on the hive mind and those who watch the live videos, I have recently gotten into espresso making. So thank you for that. Uh, but that means I now need all of the accessories and some of them I can make. So we're going to use a small scrap I have of walnut and we're going to make some fun. Something like that. And then I want this to be at least that wide. So let's come over to seven inches. We'll make it eight inches. Eight inches. Two, eight inches. So there's the block I want to cut out of this. Right out of the middle, of course. Where else would I pull it from? arbitrarily say that's where the back row needs to be and we're gonna go one something here something here halfway in with that and so four two would be halfway with that let's see how does two look this way so let's go There and there. Okay, there's my five locations. Big hole, big ish, ish hole, medium hole, slot. Let's make this happen. Okay, that ain't gonna go. No work. Let's try. <laughs> Still no work. Okay, let's see if there's enough demons in this drill to possess it. Nope. No. Uh-uh. Nada. It's time for the big torque, daddy. <laughs> Engagement. Ah, wrestling match. Yeah. 
Actually, I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to go from here to here. It's going to be that deep. So that means I need one of these at that mark. I need to go a little bit deeper. So I don't want it resting on that, I want it resting on this rim. We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four, and now we need that. Mm. Let's drill the hole and try splitting. Or yeah, let's drill the hole. The center of that is seven eighths. Is here's the center of it. Yeah, that's about right. We only need to go down a little ways, but a little ways more than that. Just soaks it right into that end grain. <laughs> Especially out here in the sapwood, just <laughs> it disappears. Yeah. Yep, I'm not going to get any art on this one. 
That's where I stink. <laughs> So there you have it, uh, an espresso buddy. This is uh, kind of fun. I found that espresso making is kind of like hand tools in that there's a very um, hands-on aesthetic to it. The, the smells and the senses just kind of slow down and do things meticulously. I really enjoy that. But that also means it comes with all the extra tools and then you have to make a place to store the tools and yeah, it kind of sounds familiar to me, but I'm really enjoying that. So thank you. Uh, if you have any other thoughts or something I should be making, I'll probably be making a few other things for it because it's kind of a new hobby that I'm adding. So if there's something you'd like me to make along those lines, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have some suggestion for the channel, uh, let me know that. I do read through all of them. I get a lot of ideas and thoughts from that. So thank you for that. It does help out the channel, not just for more thoughts, but it helps us get in front of more people, helps the channel grow, as well as hitting the like, the share, subscribing. Thank you. Uh, it means a lot. It really does help us grow. And on top of that, there are a whole bunch of names over here. Those are all of the people who are helping grow this channel monetarily. Those are the patrons on Patreon. Without patrons on Patreon, we wouldn't exist. We are completely sponsored by you, the viewer. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, there's a link to Patreon down below, or you can click the little join button to become a member here on YouTube. And we have special perks for both. I think I'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I know hand tool woodworking, it is a bit on the slow side, and so that's why I now get into espresso, so that hopefully I'll uh, speed up and get things done a little faster. <laughs>